this I've seen a puff ever get an MSM. Spec R, I think probably the highest recent puff at an MSM. I don't want to say that. Probably might have been Sin one or, once or twice, but hey, hey, sorry if I missed it, Sin. Nice. A little bit of an empty hop into an aerial here, and that puts Larry off the stage. No, and the catch on the return. Okay, Specklar's like stock one here. Slowly kind of setting himself up here. He knows, I mean, one back air, two back airs, a sneeze on Puff, that might be a dead character right there. She is a balloon. Yep, back air one more, 102. She feels like, it, it, honestly, that sounded like he was hitting a balloon. Good patience on Spengar. He waited for Larry to commit to the forward tilt, so he's trying to two frame him, or we shot the invisibility. Good drop from Spengar, too. He might have wanted to catch Larry. Slipping on the wolf fire, the wolf flash. Back air. That's gonna do it at 115. Because of Puff's weight. Top five light character. I don't know which specific weight, but I know she's definitely still top five light character. Forward air. Nice. Good combo. 54. This is a dead puff to like any smash. <laughs> so even though that Specklar has this lead, don't let the lead fool you here. But it's all depends on how Specklar has been doing a really good job against Larry by whipping on his aerials and punishing his commitment there. Like the back air, it's because the way that Puff sets up the forward air, Puff is able to low profile that back air. So that's a lot of things that Puff kind of has over some characters. The ability to low profile, but also her box shifting. Very, very prominent, more so in Ultimate than it was in a lot of the Smash games. I feel like that's something that Bandai Namco is very well known for uh, doing the Tekken series. Down throw. Dash tag. That'll, I think that's only going to work one dash tag because the way that buff kind of works as a floaty, you can only get one afterwards. Oh, nice. Good forward after. The, whoa, okay. Operator finally closes it here. This is pretty much any man's game. If Specklar is able to get a read here, it could put Larry off the stage into a tough situation here. But once again, Wolf sneezes on, on Jigglypuff, man. That's a dead pop. Dead, that's a popped balloon, I would say, at this point. Back throw. Larry has to be careful on the panic. Yep. Close to the back air. No, no full jab. Yep, Larry can't panic. If he burns a jump or if he reacts to a... Oh, that was special a little bit too early. He has to careful on the lining bell. If Specklar gets an up air rest, he can lose it in the back air. We'll do it 66%. Specklar was close. That's definitely something that Larry also understands too. Larry has been ranked in every Smash game along. I think him and Champ are the two. Yeah, I think Larry and Champ are the only two players. Champ, of course, uh, the founder of 2GG alongside the co-founder JMX. Champ and Lair are the only two players in SoCal that have been ranked in every Smash game. Lair was ranked in Melee, he was ranked in Brawl, he was ranked in TM, he was ranked in Smash 4, and he is ranked in Ultimate. And Champ has been ranked in every game as well, except Ultimate because Champ is more focused on hosting tournaments and doing the best he can for SoCal. So yeah, these two players, yeah, Larry and Champ have been the only two players that have been in every Smash game. Game two here. I think that's what gives Larry one of the greatest neutrals. I think the best, probably with the best neutral in SoCal is Larry Lair. I think playing Smash for every game is <laughs> kind of giving him that loot, that great neutral. Outstanding fundamentals. And those carry over. I mean, no mistake, because Larry is one of the oldest players. Uh, not necessarily one of the oldest players, but an older player doesn't mean he's far behind from a lot of the younger players. Well, Spectre has a lot to say about that. He did bring Larry to last stock. Virtually last hit, too, with the way things were going. So we'll see how big things go here for Spectre on game two. Puff does have a lot of aerials, so she's able to dodge the blaster. Nice! On Spectre, kind of cross over Larry, possibly get a read. Oh! Fortunately, like I said, Wolf sneezes on Puff with any smash attack, and that will be the death of it. Death of the balloon. Well, I mean, that definitely wasn't looking like a missing punch.
back air. Yep. Spagoon is about to pop. Speglar can slowly come back on the stage. Pop does have that movement. Really good use of the aerial there. They're going to slowly come back on the stage. Speglar has taken center stage, so it's really good for him. Great opportunity after the forward air to kind of just hold the shield. Wait for an opportunity for Wolf to get out. Yep, lasting there, and that'll do it. That's one thing that Puff, I think a lot of characters in general, but that's the one thing that Puff definitely has over like the spaces, is the recovery. Puff can punish the recovery all the way from the depths. And in general, that, that neutral has a last and hitbox. It can punish Wolf Fire, Wolf Fire, and of course, Buckle Fire. Opportunity here. I like how Larry, Larry's just immediately understanding. You know what? He's gonna spend time above me. A couple up airs away will keep Puff away. Oh, that was close. Speckle wanted to bring it out to the ledge too, as well. Would have been really good against Larry. Once again, like I mentioned earlier, Puff. Puff punishes all up specials and side specials that the spaces have. So that's what Speckle was looking forward to. Bringing it towards the corner and then punishing like so. Oh, nice. Unfortunately, tough trade. I would call it the Pokemon card trade, honestly, with no pun intended. Burns the jump. Nice. Comes from the ledge. Doesn't want to overcome it there. There was an aerial waiting for Larry. He understood. Larry? Uh, I want to say, yeah, he was going to react to that. for Larry. Nice. Stops the side special. And that'll be a tough trade. Larry takes it over Speckler now too. Oh. And it's because the way that Wolf Fire works as a hitbox and the fact that Wolf's foot still is a hurtbox in that situation, Puff was able to still contest with Wolf, but the hitbox still sticks out and it's really tough for Puff. So, like I said, Unfortunately, Speckler traded in the Charizard card for a more common Rat Ratatat card. I'll say a Zubat in this case if we're talking about Gen 1. Three, two, one go. game, pretty much game three. This is one of our semis. I think it's actually, I think it's 2 0 Larry. I'm so sorry, chat. I think, I'm pretty sure it's 2 0 Larry. Nice. Air. Gets the blaster, a couple more shots in. <laughs> see, this is one thing that I'm definitely starting to see from Larry. He's really getting used to trying to read his opponent out for sure on the recovery options. Because he knows up smash the way he was spaced would have covered jump, would have covered all the five, the way he spaced himself out. So it's all to spec on. I think if he had jumped out with Puff, it would have been fine. But Larry is definitely, I feel like he's definitely much more any any player would be better on reaction, but when Larry reacts to his opponents, he definitely shows shines a lot more. Let's still go on him to understand. You know what? Speckler has one option, and the way he's at the ledge, the way Puff will die, he'll lose it here. Back air. Nice. Speckler has to go for that low recovery. I was gonna say Larry tried to react with the two frame in the portal. Nonetheless, still gets a smash. 3-1 in terms of stocks. Speckler can get a break here. He can finally get something going here, but Larry will just call it out with his up airs. Good trade in terms of Speckler. Finally getting a break, like I said. Can he get the edge guard? Slowly brings it out, but he commits to the pound into the neutral air. Really good. Like I mentioned, neutral air does have that lasting hitbox. Oh, well, that was tough. <laughs> you do not, unfortunately, you do go into free fall after side special, so. Call oh, close. Directional air dodge does give, I'm sorry, neutral air dodge does give you less end lag. Call close. Barry trying to channel his inner Charlie. Not able to get the full punish. I still respect that, you know. Barry says, you know what, Charlie, if you're gone for every sense, okay, me and Neil will hold the board. Back air, that'll do it. One back air, day keeps Puff away. Speckler with a respectable 3 0 and a fist bump. Still getting out here in winter semis. I think this is, this is my, this probably is 